Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And I've done a little bit of work here to kind of shore up my route by which I will attack or affront this dreaded castle. I went ahead and I put in a ladder because you know what? There's no fun being knocked off by gas when you're trying to pillar up with a bunch of clay. You know, I mean, there's funny in it, but there's no fun. So, anyway, I figure that we will just take this highway to hell or whatever this is over here, you know, further into hell, and then hopefully figure out what's going on. So, let's see, we've illuminated this a little bit. We got some sort of building part there, some sort of building part there, and a huge building... Wow, this whole thing just goes on a ways, doesn't it? I'm a little worried by the scale of all this. Okay, I hear magma cubes down there. Big building here. Well, no one can say I didn't stop and smell the roses. This whole place is huge, and I'm making a point of looking at it. Okay, so let's see if I can just safely run down these stairs here. It looks like that's the case. So then we got this building here. Presumably a bunch of monsters or something at the ground floor. Big magma cube right there. Yeah, stuff spawning on the roof there. So let's run back up real quick. Wait, is that stuff spawning on the roof up here, or is it spawning on the roof? Whoa, there. There it is. There is spawning on the roof. Okay. Off. Away. No. Ugh. It pushed me through him. Oh. Well, there goes a lot of preparation into having a good video. I am back in the nether, and we are going to give this a nether go, eh? Eh? I know that those stupid magma cubes can jump across here and make trouble, or spawn here and make trouble. I don't care. They are trouble. I do not need that trouble. We are going to go across to here and find out what's going on out this way. Because that's what sane people do when they don't when they get tired of just fruitlessly dying in different places. We are just going to destroy all these spawners quicker than a jack's wink. Like a jack, for those of you who don't know, is a little metal thing that you drop a rubber ball. It's, it's an old game. Oh, hey, that looks like a helpful thing or place to be. Let's go to there. And, of course, I cannot access the... Ooh! Wow, okay, so that's a pretty good sword. I think that I might want to have it just for my general being around here. But my odds of not getting killed to death just by wandering... Well, that's a really good sword. Sharpness 4, knockback 2, fire SP. I'm really worried that I'm just going to get killed, though, like fall into my death. So These are backward stairs. I wonder if that's intentional. It's so hard to tell with 3-2, like, you know, like if he's just messing with me there or something. Okay, so this is a dead and. This is a weird and. This is a second porch that seems to wrap around to here, which does not connect to that. This is a four-corner area, which makes me worry there are spawners. Nope, just stupid baby silverfish. Dang it, baby silverfish. Okay, dead end here. Baby silverfish, you are just going to have to die on your own because I didn't bring any fire-making stuff. I really should have brought redstone to, you know, leave red crumbs, if you will. Hey, pig man, I almost instinctively hit you with my pig man hitter, which would have been deadly for me. Let's just grab some of these pumpkins right quick since I lost all my freaking light when I fell just recently. So let's just jump up here real quick. Certainly more pumpkins. Got a tower that goes way the heck up there. We got a ghast somewhere that's making a nuisance of himself. Total obnoxious nuisance. Dang it, ghast! Know your place. Your place is with an era inside of your body that I have put there. Using advanced bow-based technology. Dang it! Probably should not be just accepting all of these blasts he's hitting me with. There we go. Okay, wow, so he put a good hurt on that part of the building. So I seem to be on top of the building now, 
and it looks a lot like it did from underneath. It's still pretty confusing. Bunch of stuff out that way, up that way. Okay, so we got stairs upward here at least. We've got a good place to fall down here. What's in there? Yep, good place to fall down. See, hallway that doesn't really... Uh-oh, creeper spawner's there. So that's good to know. Let's light that up a little bit. Light this up here. In case there's more creeper spawners throughout here. Spawners. Wait, is this back where I came from? Okay, so that's full circle. Okay, so no signs of activating spawners here, which is good, because I hate activating spawners anywhere, but especially directly in front of me. That is one of my peeviest of pets. So, here we go. Throw a quick pumpkin down, just in case there are spawners here. Okay, so it looks like we can just run across the top of that and be on our way. And we are in the clear once more. Pumpkin time. Quick harvest. I've got to say, I didn't expect to be harvesting pumpkins in the nether, but now that I'm doing it, I can't imagine not doing it, you know? It's just part of the nether experience for me. So let's see, this goes all the way down there. Oh, this thing up here is going to be trouble for me. I know that now. So let's see. I can break that. Do I want to, though? Yeah, let's, uh, let's give that one. Quickly light this up here. Dark hallway. Which is a dark dead end. got a curious stairwell. Let's just kill the ghasts first. Boom! I return that to sender. Where is the other sender? Down there? And bada bing. Well, not very that bingy, but that time? Really? Come on, ghast! Just, uh, fine. Whatever. I've given up on killing you for the time being. You have received a reprieve. I hope the receipt of your reprieve is sufficient for your happiness. Because if you're not happy now, you never will be. I'm never going to give you happiness, Ghast. It's just not in my nature. We just can never be together like that. Okay, so more dark hallways with nothing of any immediate visible value. Oh! Is this where I came from with the same exact sword? No, okay, good. More arrows would be useful. I'm pretty good on everything else, though, for right now. So I'll have to make a note that this is here. Okay, so this up here looks promising. Let's check this out. Uh-oh. These little stairway places tend to be where he puts uh, spawners. These little intersections and whatnot. Wow, this is just such a massive area. Like, everything else in this map... I mean, I guess... Dang it. Standing in fire. Generally undesirable. Especially while, you know, playing a video game. Actually, no, especially in real life. Don't stand in fires in real life, kids. Where you at? Okay, so any sign of a birdcage... Oops. Is that one all the way out there? No. Anything in there? Nope. Let's see, on top of that. No. That's where I just came from. How far out does this go? I should check that. Oh, hey, there's a pumpkin island there, which is interesting. Probably to me, at least, and maybe to you. Uh-oh. Spawner's here. Spawner's here. Let's kill this spawner. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lots of spawners there. Uh-oh. 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 
Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Am I still in range? Are there more of them coming in? Uh oh. Okay, so let's quickly kill the ghast. Where is he? Dang it, ghast. Your vertical position then makes it difficult to air you. One more. I really hope I'm not still spawning creepers over here. Okay. So, the fact that 3-2 saw fit to booby trap this area with creepers speaks highly of it. Let's see if there's... A I probably should have checked that for, tra for silverfish, but okay. So let's go ahead and grab this. And plant this in the middle of the creeper spawning area first. And then destroy the creeper spawners before they can be a problem. Hopefully before they actually are a problem. Okay. Pigman. Pigman, I'm on a timetable here. I'm on a creeper-related timetable. Wah! Okay, so we got those things coming in. Let's see, is there anything of value up here that is worth, like, noticing? We've got access down here to this walkway. Hmm. It's just nothing immediately or imminently imperative, I guess, I would say, about these areas. Like, I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm looking for that first. How is this not keeping? No, don't walk in front of me, pig man. Destroy that one. Destroy that one. These things are usually fine, except for when they spawn the massive ones, which knock me off the cliffs. That part I dislike. Okay, so now we're back in this area, or we've never been in this area. But here's a dead thing. Oh, come on, this whole map is just too freaking big. Okay, there's a blaze spawner for me to destroy. I'll do that. No, pig man, no. Okay, so having sufficiently destroyed that blaze spawner, what now? There's another blaze spawner for me to destroy, but like, that doesn't necessarily... Nothing here points to anything. Like, there's no indicators of anything. Okay, those hallways, walkways over there are just really far away. Everything is so far away. I've completely lost my orientation as well, I think. Or have I? Wait, no, because I'm still heading away from the corner I was in if I head back this way and over. And so, let's see, is there, there's dead, wow, there's a lot more stuff out there. Still nothing imminently obvious that just screams birdcage with all of its might and power. Maybe one of them lower keeps there might be worth exploring. Very darkly lit. Wow, that's really far away. Look at how far away that is. Super far away. Well, I guess I, I'm i okay with the nether areas being all crazy uncoordinated because, you know, well, it's it's you're in hail and, and hail is poorly built. Or something you know but they have that expression hell wasn't built in a day and it's like well what were they spending all this time on if so I can tell you right now this video is gonna have to be pretty heavily edited because a lot of it's just me wandering aimlessly and it's gonna be kind of disorienting for you I reckon how I'll jump from one location to another but at this point I don't even know really where I'm going or in what order so, you know, there's that. Wow, I'm a really poor judge of the quantity of blocks it requires to complete basic tasks. Silverfish? Not silverfish? Okay, cool, no spawner there. So, we've got these arches over here. That over there looks important. That might be the way I came in, though. I need to start building man-made structures to signify stuff. It looks like I'm going to have to climb my way up here. And there's blazes there. Oh, that's one of them blazed...
places. Or blazes, if you will. Dang it. And I'm totally going to hit a pig man if I try and do that. And keep screwing it up. So, okay, we are just going to go straight up on this. Dang it. We are not going to have enough blocks to do this properly, are we? Not at all. Oh, no. There we are. And now you are dead, my friend. Okay. So, at least we know we're in a new area. Because otherwise I wouldn't have had to kill that spawner. Well, let's just make a run for it from here. Is this intersection going to be a spawner intersection? Let's assume so. Nope. Okay, so... Let's see, where does this go? Nowhere. Where does that go? Nowhere. What's over there? Nothing. Dang it, 3-2! I feel like I just did an impression of Sil doing an impression of me. Dang it! Because he, he does the ang. As in, ang! How are we going to fight the Fire Lord Ozai? You haven't mastered firebending yet. It's like, well, you know what? Cho Hills will help. Because he's clearly doing fine in the Fire Kingdom. Whatever. No, that's a lie. I can't even kill this stupid ghast. And now I'm on fire. Yeah, okay. Clearly there's two ghasts. And... Where's the other one? Oh. Wow, this is, this is going poorly. I am less than pleased on this front. Okay. Real quickly gather up some health. Build a little stairwell here in case we need it. Oh, is there a blaze spawner here? No, okay, good. That's just... That's just stupid. Uh, what do you call it? Fire. Naturally occurring fire. Okay, so that's just an empty hallway here. It's another balcony thing. It's a hallway that ends in pumpkins. This is... Oh, okay, it's another one of these. Let's real quickly kill these. One of them down, two of them down. Have I mentioned I'm Joe Hills? You might have heard of me. Oh, what's that? You've heard of me too? Where you at, bro? I wish there was literally any rhyme and or reason to this area. Like, the fact that there is actually none is really frustrating. Which is probably kind of what 3-2 was going for. Pigman, don't you dare get in front of me. I am in line. In line to bring justice to the ghasts. Because they're out of line. Okay, so this area here is looking promising, and... Somehow I thought I was on my way there, but did not end up there. So let's fix that. I think I need to jump down here. Oh, no. So maybe I should just jump for this. There we go. And I will put that pumpkin there as a signif... Okay, so there's clearly something... Some sort of visual glitch right here. Where that fellow's popping out of. Okay, so there's a stairwell up here. I've got no clue where I even came in at this point. I'm on the roof now. I'm assuming that's okay, but I don't know. Okay, this looks important. We got one pumpkin in the middle of this area here. What's below us? A box. Bunch of cool stuff that I don't really imminently need. I have a feeling this video will end with me not finding the birdcage and just accidentally punching a pig man while trying to get a pumpkin.
like he will be on top of the pumpkin and then fall onto me and I will panic and kill him. Okay, I still don't even know where my actual, like, I, I've lost sight of the uh, Stargate or whatever. Uh-oh, there's a nearer one. But yeah, I don't know where the gate is. I'm kind of on my own here. That was a poor place to put that. Dang it. Okay, so I can go back down in here. But then there's nothing else to, like, look at because this is yet another hilarious dead end, I'm assuming. Or isn't it? Hilarious. Didn't get that one. This is a new area. Let's go for it, kids. Two of you guys. You call that a challenge? Oh, wait. There we go. I was gonna say, destroying you with your own petard or whatever there is not really the ideal mechanism by which to do that. Okay, also, yeah, have an arrow. And, whoa, that was almost a, a pig man with the arrow. So there's one down. Pig man, don't you dare jump in my way. Okay, so he's taken care of, and the ghast in the far background there. A little bit too far in the background. Uh-oh, closer ghast. Where is he? Oh, he's just right there. Okay, so let's see if there's anything we can discern from this new post that we have just now captured. Probably not. Is there anything directly below the spawner? Once again, I feel compelled to look just in case... 3-2 is somehow hiding his clues underground here. No. Like, I'd rather have signs that, like, taunted me. They're like, you went west when you should have gone east. Because I'd be like, well, thank you for taunting me, sign. I now know which direction I should have gone in. Instead, I am just perennially lost. Which is not at all the same as being taunted. Because of the lack of information exchange. So I think I'm going to try and pillar my way up here right quick. And by try to, I mean I will really, really mean well, but probably not succeed. So let's see. That one. There's no spawners there. And this goes out of ways. It really seems like, whoa... It really seems like 3-2 would have put the birdcage somewhere that I would be able to see it. I haven't explored so diligently thus far. But then again, that also seems like a thing he would not do to, you know, taunt me. That area there looks to be of interest, and I can't tell if I've been there or not yet. So let's go ahead and give that a go. Probably not the ideal way to do this, but let's put that golden apple out. I want to do that before I run out of food, because food reclamation could be a pain. Okay. So we got this kind of weird mix way here, intersection. Oh, okay. Definitely some magma cubes there. Ah. Dang it. Hey, they dropped magma cream now? That's awesome. Did not know that. And we are doing a poor job. A poor job. An abysmal job of destroying these guys. I'll tell you that right there. Okay. So. And by these guys, I mean they're spawners. We need to get rid of these spawners as quick as we can. And creepers. Creeper spawners too. Apparently. Great. This might be the area I came in from, which also featured creeper spawners. <gasps> no, there's the birdcage. Excellent. I don't know the way home from here. So, there's also that factor. But, otherwise, we're just peach keen. So, let's plant this forward a little bit. Plant this forward. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. 
For a second, I thought I saw another creeper besides that one. Dang it, why is that not enough time? A lot of these guys, I think, are spawning off the side, fortunately. Now, here's the thing, is I may never find this location. Is there a blaze spawner up there? Is there a gas spawner up there? Yeah, let's, uh... Whoa! Uh-oh. We are not doing hot here. Redstone ore, let's take one and run. Okay. Okay, not doing too hot. Might be running the wrong way. Have no clue, honestly. This is just the longest possible trail I could find with a straight line evacuation route. Wow, this is a really, really, really long road. I hope I'm not going away from the... Uh-oh. Is this a uh, spawner area? No. But, okay, so... Wow, what's that over there? Okay, that is just another part of the castle there. Out in these directions, there's more other parts of the castle. No sign of the portal. I should probably have been naming these stupid pumpkin constellations in hopes of identifying my way home. Wait, okay, so that looks to be the long flat part. Okay, I remember that. So it looks like I need to run back past where I was and then hook over and then go back that way. I think that that's going to be my best bet. So, of course, I had decided not to take that potion of swiftness, and so that will likely bite me in the butt right now. But I do have this potion of apple. So, let's apple it up, and... Oh, that is not even enough to replenish my health. Oh, you're kidding me. We are just going to sprint back past all this other stuff and hope that it works. Is the potion... Is the apple not even still in effect? Really? Okay. So, that is less than ideal. That is less than ideal at all, kids. I collected a whole bunch of non-silverfish blocks, though which I'm hoping to use to pillar up to that crossway and then, you know, return home safely. This is going to be the most convoluted trip back to the Victory Monument you guys have ever seen. Okay, there's our portal, which I have no clear plan about how to reach from here. Because that bridge does not connect, that bridge does not connect. I've got to start heading all the way. Oh, come on, really? So it looks like in my haste to flee the birdcage area, I may have overzealously overestimated how far I needed to run. Because, you know, we all make dumb mistakes, especially me. Is there a second golden apple in here I could have? Please tell me there is. Oh, thank goodness. And I'm going to take this good sword with me now that I'm in record carrying duty anyway. Just in case... Uh, anger the wrong pig man. Okay, so knowing that the... Whoa. Knowing that I need to get over to there, I think then that what I'll do is come down here. Oh, there was a stairwell. I just missed that because I'm an idiot. If I die with this redstone block, I will never find the victory thing again. Like, that much has become apparent. Out of my way. I need to get to there. Okay. So. Then from here, can I drop down? No. We get to here. We turn left. Oh, this is just killing me. I'm not designed to navigate this sort of thing. I'm just... Oh, no. Whoa, bad idea. I was going to try and use him to destroy the walkway, and that was not smart. Oh, could I survive that? Probably not. Could I mine downward toward that? 
I see my ladder wheel. I just want to go home. I literally just want to go home. I want to put this block in the monument. This one. In the monument. Which if I place, I would not be able to pick back up. So let's not place it. So close. Yeah, I knew I could do it all along. I, I knew, oh yeah, no problem. I, I was just like, yeah, I'll just take this back and that back. Boom. You know, it's not like I just edited out like 80 minutes of me wandering around here, freaking out, slowly eating all the golden apples out of the chest while panicking that I was going to die of starvation without being able to find my way back. Nope. That's not at all what happened. Joe Hill's shaping the narrative. Excellent! We are back in the JBM, or Jukebox Monument, or Juliet Bravo Mike, or what have you. And I need to quickly grab me a lighted up torch and sign. So there's my torch and sign. And we have successfully gotten the redstone ore. Okay, here's how I view this situation. So it looks like 3-2 might have accidentally planted this in the wrong place, so I'm just going to move this along for him. Uh, this is actually going to go right here. Let me just make myself a nice little glowstone thing. And, uh, oh, put that nice little glass there. And uh, there we go. And that one said redstone ore on it done yeah so I've, I've fixed his sign which he for some reason he put this over here I, d I don't know what he was thinking this completely asymmetrical and we got that in the nether stupid maze that drove Joe mad mads yeah I'll keep it done light it up boom okay so we have gotten both of those blocks, which are presumably the two nether portal world things. So hopefully I won't have to go back there for a long time. I've got the crazy swords out of there that I'm hoping to use in some other adventures. Although I'm always so worried about taking a tumble that I don't like carrying the super nice stuff unless I know I've secured my pathway first. But I don't know where I'm going to go next. I could go to the zombie world. I could go check out that crazy spaceship thing. I think there's something even on the other side of the starting island, which I probably should go back and look at. So, anyway, lots left to do. I'm going to go do it. Till next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.